Hey guys, it's Andy and welcome to another video here from Oh This Is Love. Uh, it's a really beautiful day here in Baguio. Yes, you heard that right. I'm in Baguio right now and um, I'm quite enjoying my time here because I love the weather. <laughs> like I see on Twitter, people keep tweeting about um, how hot it is in Manila and stuff like that. And I'm just, you know, here in Baguio trolling them, telling them, oh, you know, it's really cold here in Baguio. It's really cool. Mm, yeah, loving the weather right now. <laughs> really loving the weather here. So this video is all about this, of course. <laughs> it's been a while since I did a, like a tutorial. And I'm sorry for that because, you know, I don't know. But anyway, um, this look is some sort of like inspired by Thanksgiving. That's why it's named like Cran the Cranberry Look or something. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna name it. So you can just check whatever's up there. <laughs> yeah, so if you're interested to know how to do this look, then keep on watching. So more or less, I've got my face done. I've got on some BB cream and foundation. Haven't powdered it yet. And as you can see, I've already done my other eye. So let's start with this one. So I already have primer on. And if you do have primer, you can do that. But if you don't, it's okay. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna get a, a base. And I'm using the, um, the Beauty Encyclopedia from e.l.f. And they have two cream like eyeshadows in here. So it's the bottom two ones. So I'm gonna use the white one and take it in your finger and then put it all over your eye and over isn't even until the oh, oh even until the crease and then with the 120 palette you're gonna get um this kind of color here i hope you can see that it's like um a yellow champagne color and that's gonna be like a base for the inner part of the eye there we go. Put it in the inner one third. Sometimes I like to blend things out with my finger. Okay, so next we're gonna go back to the Elf Beauty Encyclopedia and we're gonna take this really glittery color, like a light taupe color. We're gonna put that on top of the eyeshadow that we put on. And you really wanna use it sparingly because it's really glittery. To use at your own risk. Okay, so still with the same brush, we're now gonna use this um, slightly darker color and we're gonna put that at the outer part. Again, use it sparingly because they're really shimmery and shiny. And then with the crease brush, you're gonna take this really nice cranberry color and we're gonna put that like at the outer area and into the crease. Really pigmented. Then for the highlight, you're gonna take this kind of color. It's a really light version of the um, of the color that we used for the inner uh, part of the eye. Just put it over your brow bone lightly. You can bring it down. There we go. Then take a like a pencil brush, a sharp pencil brush, and get that cranberry color again. And we're gonna put it on our lower lash line lightly do it don't go all the way in just around three like two thirds of the way and what you want to do you want to try to smoke it out a bit So you're gonna take your pencil brush again and you're going to look for a nice like light gold color and we're gonna put that at the inner corners of the eye so that we're gonna give this look some warmth. So pop that in your inner corner. Now I'm just gonna apply my eyeliner and mascara. I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm back. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the waterline and instead of using like black or white, I'm just gonna use a brown 
a cream what is this it's some sort of cream eyeshadow and cream eyeliner it's from Etude House where is my eyeliner brush Let's see. there we go we're gonna line all the way in Okay, that's it for the eyes. Let's move on to the face now. So, so earlier after I did my foundation everything, I didn't apply powder first just so that I can uh, sweep away any fallout. There we go. And then for blush, I'm gonna be using this Jewish Color Pot in Tutu and Pinched. So it just looks like this. I'm gonna use a paddle brush. I'm just gonna slightly pat it on the apples of my cheeks. For the lips, um, ideally I would wear like a not really dark shade, but uh, how do I say it? A plum shade, a kind of a dark plum shade. But since I don't have my like extra makeup with me here, <laughs> um, I'm just gonna use this lipstick from Vanilla Co. It's called Love and it's from their Club Club Rococo line. It's a really gorgeous like coral pink. It's really gorgeous when you put it on the lip, so let's put it on now. And I'm just gonna really do it lightly because I don't want it to be too much. I just want it like a uh, tint to it. I just want the color of it. So basically you can leave it at that but if you're a person who likes to put on lip gloss then by all means go ahead which I also am gonna do. So this is the shower lip gloss in number seven. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it in the middle Dab it. So, this is the finished look. Oh, I'm not gonna do my hair. Anyway, this is it. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this uh, video. Products, of course, will be listed down at the description box. Um, if you have any questions or if you want to message me, you can do so here on YouTube or you can head over to my Twitter. It's twitter.com slash oh it's Andy. And if you want to, uh, you can go visit my blog. Um, it's oh it's And uh, yeah, what else? And I will see you guys in my next video.